Welcome to this short video on the golf grip. Now, the golf grip is very important because your hands are the only part of the body that actually touches the club. Now the grip can be defined two ways. Now the first way is just how you put your hands on the grip. And I'm going to be showing a neutral grip. There is other grips, I'm only going to mention neutral grip here. And I'm going to show you in a series of photographs coming up how you put your hands on the club in order to get a neutral grip. And I'll explain a wee bit why I think juniors should attempt a neutral grip before attempting anything else. After you watch the, the bit about the grip, when you come back, I'm going to show you the second part of the grip, which is how the hands work together in order to complete the grip. For the neutral grip, we introduce the hand to the club like so. We want the shaft of the club to run through the fingers from the middle knuckle of finger 1, the index finger, to the base of finger 4, the pinky. We put our hand on the club like so. We want to leave 2 or 3 centimetres at the end. We then wrap our fingers round so that we can see two knuckles of the left hand and the V created by the thumb and the index finger points up towards the right ear. We then introduce the right hand to the club and we want this so that the pad of the right hand fits over the thumb of the left hand. We then put our fingers round again and this time you can see that you can see one knuckle of the right hand and the V is pointing more up towards the chin. If we can now just recap, it's a neutral grip for a right-handed golfer. Your left hand, you want to see two knuckles showing. And the V created by the index finger and thumb points up towards the right ear. And the thumb of the left hand fits into the pad of the right hand, putting the baby to bed. On the right hand, you want to see one knuckle and also the V points up more towards the chin. Now this is a neutral grip. If you twist your hands in any way towards the right or the left, you're taking it away from neutral grip and you're going to have to change your swing in some way to get the club back to the ball. Now the second part of the grip, the hands. Well, the hands should be together. Some young kids might, if they're very young, might want to play like a hockey shot, but sooner or later you want to get the hands together. Now here's the first grip. You can see all eight fingers and my hands can come apart. This is the baseball grip. You would never ever get any top professional or any professional or any low handicap player playing with the baseball grip. So the first grip that of the two I would like you to try is called the overlap grip. And it's called the overlap grip because I take my pinky in my right hand and I overlap it onto the groove between my index finger and the middle finger of my left hand. So I'm just overlapping. If I put my hands down, I should still have my neutral grip, but I'm overlapping. This is used by most golfers, the majority of golfers. However, there is another one, and one I think is very good for the juniors. Just a subtle difference here. I'm taking my pinky and my index finger and I'm interlocking them. And guess what this is called? It's called the interlocking grip. Now this, you can't take your hands apart if you're using the interlocking grip. And as you can see, I've still got my neutral grip. Uh, some people might say they don't like the interlocking grip, but it's used by probably the best two golfers of all time as far as winning trophies is concerned, and that's Jack Nicklaus and Tiger Woods. And if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. Quite a technical session, but if you just take it a wee bit of a time, remember it's a neutral grip, all knuckles and Vs, and you use an overlap and an interlocking grip. Just Google any of these things. And it just leaves for me to say once again, good luck, and I should be back with a video soon.